Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 38, and this is war number four. And it looks like we're going up against Phoenix, our sister alliance. Man, you know what? We can't catch a break. Every time it seems like we go up against our sister alliance, we, we something is going on where we can't give our best. And what's happened is one of uh, the officers decided to change up the defense and waited a little bit too late. So you know what happened. Folks didn't check and posted the, and put their usual defense. And so we got duplicates. Oh man. So I don't know how this war is gonna go, but yeah, whatever. All right, Ghost, uh, Human Torch, and um, uh, Archangel, Banned, of course, he's Banned, and Banned Immune, Spider-Man 2099. All right, let's uh, spectate. Let's check it out, see what we got going on over here. All right, so they didn't put anybody there. And I've got, ooh, hmm, that's interesting. I have Guardian. Hmm. This should be interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Um, ah, Because he likes to auto block specials, but Gallon, he does go unblockable. So that'll be interesting. I, I'm curious to see how that's going to work. But I am going to bring Gallon, of course. Oh. He can be annoying, but... Um, I'm not sure. Did he bring anybody? Hmm, well, he's got uh, Mo Man, who could do it. We've got uh, Korg in the middle there. Ooh, really? Really? Uh, do not like him. But, um, hmm. Who would be good for this? With the buffet over time. I mean, I can still bring Spider-Man 2099 in uh, if I want to. We'll have to talk and see if somebody else wants to take him. And then we've got uh, Silver Surfer over here. I can definitely bring in um, Nick Fury. Nick Fury could take this fight pretty easily. And then on the path, <laughs> we got Nimrod. And we've got Omega Sentinel. Claire. So Claire, Nick Fury, and um, Gallon. That's what it's looking like. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Gallon is back. And let me tell you, the Invincible Gallon ran into a little problem in this war. But more on that when we get there. So he's still, in my opinion, the best option for this particular path. It's like this path was made for him. I wonder if Kabam does that, if they change the nodes and then the new champs that come out one of them is like ideal for that particular path so you have a reason to rank them up but anyway so we got this guy here guardian now the thing that i hate about guardian is that i can't use my specials because he likes to auto block but guess what gallon don't care gallon don't care if he auto blocks him or not all right so as you can see here we're about to tear him up all right, so here we go. Build it up. Boom. Harvest has begun. Hit him with it. Yeah, auto block that. Ain't happening. It's unblockable. So, loving it. Loving Gallon. And I'm really hoping that Kabam leaves him alone. Uh, I will take him to rank four. All right, now, here's the mini. And it's a stealth suit Spider-Man. And uh, I was feeling myself. 
Gallon is just the boy, and I didn't have anybody on that uh, second node there. So I'm like, all right, my alliance mate hasn't uh, taken him out because he usually takes out this uh, mini. And so I'm like, well, here's a chance for me to show off with Gallon a little bit, right? And I didn't talk to him, but he had actually brought someone in for this fight. All right, so now Spider-Man has that Spider-Sense charge. Once he has that charge up, he's gonna evade one time, and then it goes on cooldown. Now, if he fires a special attack, it comes back immediately. But even if he doesn't fire a special attack, it's gonna come off cooldown. All right, so as you can see here, he's building up Furies, and his evade is about to come back, okay? And so I'm like, all right, I just gotta finish this off. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Yeah. One hit. He had so many Furies. One hit. And that was all she wrote. The mighty Gallon has fallen to one hit. So you know I can't let that go, right? You know I had to go right back in there um, and, and take this boy out. There, there's no way I want him to survive to tell the tale of what he just did to Gallon. Not happening. Now, I was tempted to revive Gallon and have him go back in there and take him out. But I was just like, you know what? Get it. We just gonna get this guy down. All right. So Gallon left a little bit of his manhood in that uh, uh, ring there, but that's okay. He'll get it back because he's Gallon. So I, when I when I showed that video, uh, <laughs> my allies was like, "Whoa!" It's like, man, he gains uh, Furies fast, don't he? It's like, yeah. One mistake and it's over with. And that was all me because I temporarily got too eager and I forgot that the evade charge was coming back. And had I been able to finish that combo, I would have baited out the evade, hit him with a heavy, and the fight would have been over. But I got too happy. Way too eager. All right, so now we've got Nimrod. And of course, I'm not gonna be using uh, uh, Nick Fury for this. But that Chitinous Thorns, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Claire is the GOAT for this node, okay? Um, I could bring in uh, some other Bleed Immune. Uh, Nebula would work just fine uh, for this node as well. But Claire, I can heal up with Claire, you know? Um, that power lock trips me up sometimes when I'm fighting a uh, Nimrod. It's really annoying. And this, I've learned to just evade the last part of it. Sometimes the controls don't let me do it. That time it did. Now the unblock. Oh, I hate that. But I can usually evade most of it, and I don't take that much damage. Uh, so as long as I'm not taking the full brunt of this, and here, I evaded it fully. Yeah, go me, right? And here we go, so he's not, that one was not uh, unblockable. And she's still in good health. You know, so I'm, I'm good. And here we go, finish him off, and we're done. So, not too much of a problem uh, dealing with that Nimrod. I've fought Nimrod enough now that it's not too much of a problem. That special two, though, can wreck you hard if you get hit by it. All right, now, um, I believe this is the final fight of the war for me. And this Omega Sentinel was my practice dummy. Now, I've fought her before um, outside of war to give a little bit of a practice, but this is the first time since I learned better how to fight her that I'm actually fighting her. Okay, first time in war since I got whooped up on when she was on node 24. And she just kept auto-blocking, and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know why she was auto-blocking, how to stop her from auto-blocking. I didn't know anything, okay? Um, but I learned after getting clobbered 
that uh, what you don't want to do when you're fighting her, you don't want to use the same basic attack. That's what you don't want to do. So as long as you don't use the same basic attack, she's not going to generate those armor ups. But even if you do bait out her special and she uses the armor ups. So I've, I know how to fight her now. Okay. But this one, this fight here, is where I tested out my new method. Okay. So here we go. Medium, light, medium. No, no. Um, let me see. She got an armor up there. But you'll see that I, I just did a medium, light, medium. And I now put the buff immunity on her. So not a, um, not a big deal. But you can see here, I'm trying to do the medium, light, medium. All right, see, I did a heavy there because I didn't want to do the same basic attack. So I'm trying to do a medium light, medium, parry heavy. Okay, and then throw my special when I can. That's the goal. Um, but I kind of messed up. But like I said, this was my, my practice. In uh, later wars, you'll see me fight her on no 24. And yeah. You'll see. You'll see what I've uh, been able to accomplish uh, with a little bit of practice. All right. So um, I believe that was my final fight of this war. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Mini boss island already cleared and the boss is down. All right. So in a minute, we'll be back. Take a brief intermission and you guys will find out how this war ended. <laughs> And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. So, remember in the beginning, I told you that we just had a series of things happen. So, I died. There were a couple of other deaths. Our leader was like, what's going on? We're fighting our sister alliance, and suddenly you guys are dying a lot. You know, are you nervous, you know, in fighting them? Is their defense just that good? What's going on? You know, um, we had one of the officers change up the defense in the beginning and some people did not check. Now I checked and I saw that one of the defenders that I was assigned was already um, placed. So I swapped out to another uh, champion, but I had a feeling that one of the guys that was supposed to place the champion that I placed who had not come into the game yet into the war yet, wasn't going to check and was going to just blindly place and we'd have a duplicate. I should have went and placed um, my, my Diablo, who's no longer on defense right now and who nobody else was assigned to place. That's what I should have done. And perhaps uh, it would have ended up with me not dying, with me having that little bit of foresight, you know, because the fight was really, really close, you know? And, um, but in any case, we lost the fight. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.